Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. Uh, today I'm bringing you some more Overwatch. Although given the amount that I love this game, my watch is never over. I apologize for the delay in this video coming out. Uh, I've recently had exams coming up. I had exams yesterday and I had exams uh, this morning. And I think they've gone okay. I think they went okay. We get the results back in about a week's time and I'll let you all know how I got on. But for now, we're at Hanamura, and we're trying to choose a team, which has become all Just Reinhardts, except for one, a Lucio, which we are all very thankful for. Uh, to be honest, when I started this, I wasn't sure how it was going to go. I should also note that this is actually on uh, my friend's PlayStation 4. Uh, not my PC. I was just over at his and uh, of course I can't bring my PC with me. But I still get to enjoy Overwatch. So that's why it's not at 60 frames a second or 1080p I'm afraid. Because the PlayStation Capture, uh, I don't think it supports those. It might do, I'm not sure. I've never really looked into the PlayStation settings all that much. If only I actually had a microphone. I really want to try to coordinate some sort of Roman soldier technique of just putting a shield and when that runs out, have another Reinhardt come in with a shield. When that runs out, another Reinhardt with a shield. Uh, but I mean, it looks like we all kind of were going for the same thing anyway. I have no idea what was going through the enemy's mind when they came through and just saw five Reinhardts all sitting together. Apart from, holy crap, this wall is impenetrable. It's an absolute shitstorm of hammers but sometimes it's fun not to take it too seriously you just want to enjoy yourself and see what works and what doesn't work and this was definitely a time to do it when I watch back in the kill cam I wonder why I didn't focus on the uh, the diva instead of the junk rat Oh well. Oh well. That kill feed in the corner, that tracer is obviously done very well. I imagine she managed to use her ultimate on a group of us at once. And they captured A quite quickly, uh, which made me think that we were actually going to lose this pretty fast as well. I mean, they've got a whole essentially nine minutes to try and capture point B. That's charging in there. Zero health, but. YOLO? Right? The other difference I noticed, especially on the console version of this game as well, is the fact that I felt like turning is so slow. It's not so bad as Reinhardt, but uh, when I'm playing as Tracer, it definitely doesn't feel right. And I've got myself trapped into the hole again. But at least they're focused on me, right? They're focused on one of our team out of six of us, and it takes four of them to bring me down. So that's not too bad, I guess. testing the point it was almost impossible to tell what earth is going on or what that's not a useful ultimate against six Reinhardts no. although that Junkrat is effective against Reinhardts I was also wondering at what point they were gonna try and counter Reinhardts or how do you even counter five Reinhardts and a Lucio They started changing up a little bit. Uh, Bastion is normally a decent counter to Reinhardt. Because he can just eat through the shield like this. But then what do you do when you've got three or four of them coming at you with just swapping shields? Apart from activate your ultimate. Reinhardt can actually take Bastion out of his ultimate if the charge makes connection. That's what I was attempting to do. And it's what I failed to do. But... He didn't seem to get many of us, if any of us. So I'm not complaining. That's a bold move from that tracer down there. A bold move indeed. Thank you, my friend. And the combination with Lucio as well, he's pretty much the perfect medic when it comes to a group of Reinhardts. His sound barrier uh, gives, I think it's a 500 
uh, shield, extra 500 health, uh, which combined with the 500 that Reinhardt already has, makes him incredibly powerful. I'm not sure why I didn't go for that Bassy. To be fair, one of my favorite things to do is the fact that when you've got a couple of Reinhards together, it's hard to see through their shield. So when they're moving forwards, if you charge from the back, you'll go right through them and the enemy never expects it. No, no one ever expects the Reinhardt Inquisition. Uh, right. Just charge after charge after charge. gonna work for you I'm afraid. There we go. Okay this might work. Then. When I first played through this I couldn't work out how he actually managed to kill me because Lucio has just activated the sound barrier which should have given me a more than big enough health pool to survive it. When I go back through the footage I realized that I was already taking a lot of damage. I'm not sure who from. So Lucio's sound barrier actually only really gave me the health that I had before, which is why the Junkrat's Riptire killed me. But our respawn is pretty much just behind the objective, so it doesn't really matter too much. I can be back in there in a jiffy. Oh, here we go. Here's my example of the bursting through the shield before Bastion has a chance to do anything. Oh man, it must have been so salty. useful for for charging up my ultimates. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to do there. I was just messing around, I guess. I'll pretend it was effective. I was saving my teammates. That's what I was doing. Protecting them from a, from the ultimate. Even though they can all protect themselves. He's an incredibly fun character to use. There we go. Three Bastions, a Junkrat... I think they have a Mercy as well, and a D.Va. You'd think that would actually be enough to take us down. Oh, looks like someone might have rage quit. Nope, no tire for you, Junkrat. And again, these Bastions just don't learn, do they? They don't learn. I'll take the credit for this. Oh, nope, he's popped an ultimate. He's now a tank, like me. Oh, well, didn't last long anyway. So up in the corner. Luckily, Reinhardt is actually ranged to a degree. That, uh, I've forgotten what the move is actually called, but essentially does quite a lot of damage if it makes a connection. It's just quite slow and easy to dodge for them. Oh, there was ba another Bastion popping an ultimate. You can sort of see Reinhardt dealing with him. Oh well, I'm sure he'll be, able he'll be fine. That was actually more just to get out of the way of Hanzo's ultimate with the dragons coming through. Because they will destroy you. They will just eat through your health so quickly. There's some Overwatch news for you. Uh, looks like on the PC version especially. Blizzard is cracking down on the the hackers that are in the game. I haven't experienced any hackers myself. Oh, perfect. Play of the game right there. But yeah, Overwatch, uh, Blizzard have been cracking down on the hackers to a pretty incredible degree. I mean, if you, if you get caught hacking, your account gets banned. Not only that, the computer that you're using it on, I'm not sure how they work this out or how it functions for other people but they permanently ban you even if you rebuy the game because you cheated in the first place no dice no game for you you ruined it for others you don't get to play which I actually don't disagree with because especially in games like when I was playing Star Wars Battlefront on the PC before I got it for PlayStation 4 
the hackers are still running riot in Battlefront. And they are so annoying. And they just ruin the experience. So this heavy-handed approach, I'd rather see the heavy-handed approach and then have a decent support for people who have a false positive uh, than the other approach a la Battlefront where they sort of monitor them. I'm not even sure what they, what they even do. But there always seems to be hackers in Battlefront. Which I haven't actually played for quite a while given my revision for my exams and the Overwatch beta actually having the exams and now the Overwatch is out. So I'm sure I will get back into it when uh, the next DLC falls. Nice dodge. And I got incredibly lucky. I'm pretty sure you normally crash right through those things. 30 seconds left. I did not think that we were going to last this long. But never underestimate the enemy. They will always go for a final push. Oh, that's not good. High noon. Oh, God. I love that move. But I feel it's the most, like, apart from maybe Faris Justice raining from above, it is definitely the most recognizable ultimate. And the one that always gets me to run away so quickly. Jesus Christ, if there's anything that's going to make me run, it's high noon. Let's see them do that. They're going to do that final push. Hanzo popping an ultimate. Bastion popping his ultimate. We've knocked down the D.Va. But it's too late. They didn't manage. Reinhardt is OP. Please nerf. I'm only joking. Please don't nerf him. I love him too much. And kudos for that tracer. That was one hell of a job. And the beautiful placement of the ball. Amazing. Well. That was definitely a different kind of match than I normally play. I normally play quite seriously, but sometimes just want to have a bit of fun. If you liked the video, click the like button. If you disliked it, click the dislike button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.